Hello guys and welcome to Crypto Bull. In this video I'm going to answer you one question. Can you make money by trading Forex? And I will give you two answers. One for those who want just a quick answer and one will be professional answer. So first one who wants to get a quick answer is yes guys, you can make money by trading Forex. But now I will give you the professional answer and it is much much more complicated because many people don't understand what trading is and as you know already my, me myself I'm trading I'm doing different cryptocurrency trading I'm doing fund market trading I'm doing long swing trading and so on and so forth and Obviously, I have this question not only in this channel, which is Crypto Bull, but I also have a Tech Wolf channel, guys, where I'm also where I also have some uh, trading videos, and people are asking the same question: Can you make money by trading forex? And I don't know why, guys, most of you want to trade forex, not any other markets, because, for example, me myself, I find cryptocurrency market much more profitable because it's more volatile, and you have you can make more profits on cryptocurrency market if you are doing day trading but okay let's not talk about this now i will have another videos on that subject but today i will answer you one question can you make money by trading forex and i will or any other market whether it's a cryptocurrencies or whether it's a fund market because trading in general in all markets is the same and if you want to be a profitable trader day trader or swing trader or whatever trader you want to be guys you have to follow all these five things which are outlined out in here in this video guys so first thing is education you have to educate yourself for example me myself i will give you like this will be like vlog style video guys where i will give you my experience in my first two years i was unprofitable trader however i was following i was doing picking up some videos and i was uh, picking up some indicators i was learning some chart patterns i was le learning some candlestick patterns but i was not really concentrating and doing it professionally and creating my own strategy guys where i would be able to understand fully what i am doing but i was trying to get into the market and i was trying to make profits but it never worked out guys i was profitable on some trades but mostly at the end of the day i lost guys and you and this all will build up all these five points which i will tell you right now guys why i am actually or why any other trader who is trading out there is losing money and not being profitable currently i am very profitable i would say i am very profitable i will not get into numbers now because that's not ethical guys but in general i am now finally after five years actually i've started to being profitable already after three years but now i am profitable trader i am doing my trades i am making some profits and i am okay and i'm not selling any courses guys like other traders do after this video i want you guys who are still here who are watching this video to understand if you want to be a profitable trader first thing is education and this is very 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 important and in the education includes understanding all markets understanding what you can trade understanding uh, how to read charts understanding how to uh, do your own charting how to uh, how to read indicators and so on and so forth guys everything like candlestick patterns and and etc guys i have actually one video which you can watch here on crypto bull channel where i have outlined everything what you need to learn because i also when i started out in trading i didn't really understood where to start where to find information what should i learn even i couldn't even understand what should i learn to become a trader guys so in this channel i have one video where i outlined everything what you need to learn to start trading where you should start guys and you can find this video this video or there's couple videos already on trading on this crypto bull channel and i will leave a link to that video in the description of this video if you want to check it out and know what you need to study so first thing is education if you don't educate yourself you will never be able to trade and i call now those guys who are trading without education who just grasped some like uh, indicators some chart patterns they know and they are putting trades and so on and so forth i call them gamblers they are not traders because you don't have a trading strategy guys and if you don't have a trading strategy this means that you haven't done your education so you will you were not able to build your trading strategy so you are gambling you are not trading at the end of the day you are trying to get into the market even 
without really understanding the points where you are getting in and why you are getting in and when you are getting in i can 80 percent cases tell you guys that you don't know even when you have to get out of that market because you don't know it and this all has to be planned and only this information you can get if you have educated yourself in trading which is very very important so guys consider checking out that video which i will leave link in first comment of this video just check it out and have a look what you need to start to what you need to learn before you get even into trading so next point is risk management which is another second thing which was my biggest thing guys this was actually why i blew up not only five or six accounts i blew about 15 accounts guys in my first years when i started trading and this is very important and under risk management you have to understand that whenever you are trading you transfer some money to your account you never trade with all your account never ever you trade with all your money you put in one trade you put only some percentage and it depends on traders how much you want to put on your trades but you never trade with all your account my biggest mistake was i was always trading with full account guys I, always it, it was like even if i started only at the end when i started understanding that uh, and uh, understanding what i am doing wrong i started uh, trading with 50 percent of my accounts and 25 percent and so on and so forth guys and then only i started becoming profitable because in trading we will have losing trades guys all the time we will have them and if you are trading with all your account your losing trade could be that trade where you are trading and you are losing all your account if you are separating your account and you are trading for example in 120s like that would be five percent of your account then you could lose only five percent you wouldn't lose straight away everything but however anyway and this is one thing under risk management and second one to not lose obviously all your trade you are doing stop losses this means that you are exiting market faster than your position gets destroyed and or if market starts going against you this is another important thing and so second point is risk management which you also have to understand if you want to be a profitable trader and like i mentioned this not this doesn't apply only to forex trading or fund market trading or cryptocurrency trading it applies to any trading at all guys you have to understand these things first thing so is education second one is risk management which is also huge and if you will not follow these steps guys you will never be able to be a profitable trader because you will be a gambler like i'm saying always like i say myself guys if i don't follow some particular strategy i don't have education i don't do my risk management i am risking my full account whenever i'm trading i'm gambling i'm not trading really because any trader loses and every trader knows it you have losing wins and use you have losing uh, trades and you have winning trades so under risk management you never trade with full account because so you don't lose all your account and you will use stop losses so you don't lose all uh, all position which you are entering that 120s or whatever position you are uh, entering i'm usually trading with five percent however it's also risky from my account guys it is also risky but for me it works out for you because that could be different so third point is paper trading and charting which is also very very important guys you have to spend some time at charts and i would say the more you spend the better all traders all experienced traders i'm talking only about experienced traders if i mean traders guys they have spent a lot of time on by the charts by reading the charts by charting and by paper trading which is also very important all brokers also almost out there which are out there for especially for fund markets for uh, if you are trading some stocks and so on and so forth guys they provide you paper trading accounts and i would recommend to all of you guys to get into paper trading and before you do real trading do paper trading because you have to understand one thing which which is very very important if you are trying to study something or if you are trying to prepare your life in something where you are trying to build your career and in this case that would be like trading you have to educate yourself to get those particular skills if you would want to be a driver and if you would want to drive a car you would need some time on the road 
to get that feeling and only then when you get that feeling of driving you become a good driver and you can do the job properly and you are doing it pretty much automatically it's the same with traders we spend time on charting we spend time on paper trading that makes our skills better and we become better traders with every single day the more we do it and this is exactly in any industry in anything where you would want to go to for example even to work that's why i have this in point three which is very important charting and paper trading don't underestimate it guys and always do it before you get into real trading if you will not be profitable in paper trading you will not be profitable in real trading let's put it that way and do you really want to risk your money ask yourself a fair question do you really want to risk your money why to not even give it a try like for a week to get into paper trading and try yourself out because I know that many of you guys who will start trading and this was exactly the same with me guys and when I started trading I wanted to get into real trades I didn't want to get in and spend my time and waste my time in paper trading and only after year or one and a half year I first time opened the paper trading account and actually was doing a paper trading and only then I started to do these uh, updates in my trading because only then I started to understand what I'm doing wrong because when you are doing paper trading you are trading with you are trading correctly because you know that you are not really winning anything and you are not losing anything and you are not risking anything and that's why you are try you you are building a proper trading strategy that's why paper trading is very very important guys and number four is over trading and revenge trading which is very very important question as well for any trader out there many traders are over trading and if you are over trading you are getting tired because you are concentrating on the chart and you think that this will do the, the chart is going to do this chart is going to do that you are looking at indicators and this is actually requiring a lot of your energy but once you become a professional trader you are not doing this anymore you know where where is your entry point and when you are entering you just close the computer and you know that you have put a stop loss and if market goes against you your trade will be closed out and you will be okay if market will go in your way you have place to take profit and you the the trade will take profit itself so you are not worrying about anything that's how professional traders work where new traders are pretty much all the time looking at the chart and spending time on the chart they get tired and exhausted by the charts guys so this is also very important over trading and revenge trading is second under this point when new traders lose trades they do a revenge trading which means that they are exiting they are entering market straight after they, their position has been closed out by stop loss or they, it has been destroyed totally these new traders jump in again in hope that they will be able to cover their losses to make profits and they add if you are do, if they are doing leverage trading then they are doubling or tripling their leverage they were trading before they are jumping in the market of the direction the currently the trade goes and they lose money because the, the market turns against them and so on and so forth goes so revenge trading is also so this is the thing where a lot of traders lose money which you shouldn't do never ever and here is the thing guys if for professional traders they are waiting for the trade for newbies and for people who are just starting who are coming into the market who think and those are those 85 percent who are losing money guys they jump into the market they rush into the market and if you are rushing and find yourself rushing into the market you know that you are not a professional trader professional trader waits for the trade and you know where you will exit and you are waiting for chart or price action to come to you guys not you are jumping in into the market which is currently there guys and another thing or false assumption is the trader can trade from any place in the market this is wrong guys because you have to take the best possible position wait for the best possible position where the price action will come to you whether it will be breakout you are waiting for whether it is uh, some other price action whether it's some of your indicators whatever you are doing whatever is your strategy guys but 
market has to come to you if you are jumping into the market just because of your patience guys just because of your emotions you will lose never do it and you are not a professional trader you are a gambler so you don't have a trading strategy which is fifth point in these five points which i wanted to point out which is trading strategy and which is also very very important and you will not have trading strategy if you will not follow all previous four steps which i just mentioned guys which is which are all very important and trading strategy like i mentioned at the very beginning of this video that this is that you have a plan you have education and you have a plan when you are going to take a trade if you don't have a trading strategy you don't know when to take a trade you don't know where to exit the trade and you will even if you don't have education you will not know, have a trading strategy because you will not be able to build that trading strategy you have to have a knowledge of charting which i also mentioned previously and you have to have a paper trading uh, experience so you know the charts you can see the charts and you can straight away detect the charts and by just by looking at that chart you could still or have a good idea what price action is doing and where it is going what chart is drawing what volume is you have to see it straight away and you will be able to see it also only if you will have enough screen time or paper trading time uh, and education and so on and so forth so these are all steps which makes up a professional and profitable trader this is from my experience guys just purely from my experience and emotions is 99 percent guys and you don't never a professional trader never trades with emotions he trades with his trading strategy this is one thing which you should understand straight away that Firstly, in trading, you have to have trading strategy and you never involve your emotions. You have to know you are taking trade only then when your trading strategy comes through. And you can pretty much put a trade, close your PC, close your computer and you have your stop losses in place, you have your take profits in place. And whatever happens, you don't care anymore, but you have done or followed your trading strategy, guys. And this is also very, very important to understand. So yes, this is pretty much it for this video. If you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new, ask questions if you have in comments and see you in the next one.